Hey everybody, we are gonna be doing soldier next. So this is my little weapon guide again. Um, so we'll start off with I guess the primary as usual. Um, the soldier's primary is a rocket launcher for all intents and purposes, and the rocket launcher is probably the most I would say I don't want to say the best weapon in the game. It's the most reliable. It's reliably good. There is like really no situation where a rocket launcher is a bad thing to have. But um, so. As far as we have for rocket launchers, we have the regular one, which is four shots, rockets that you can shoot, they'll splash and stuff, you know. You'll see more of that in the gameplay, but rocket launcher, four shots in it, 20 extra ammo, you know, basic stuff. Um, then we have the black box, which is the same in every way, except you only can only have three rockets in a clip, because it's minus 25% clip size, and you gain 15 health per hit. Now, one th important thing to remember is if you hit multiple people with one rocket, you get multiple 15 health. So if you shoot one rocket that hits three people, you get plus 45 health. That's important to know because I don't think a lot of people know that actually. Um, and so losing the extra rocket, that happens on the black box. And I guess I go to the Liberty Launcher, which also has the same negative. You only get three rockets in a clip. But the Liberty Launcher moves 40% faster. Um, so obviously you can see that the plus 15 health can be good to slowly regenerate your health. Um, but you lose a lot of power. Missing one rocket is a really big deal. Because let's say, hypothetically, that you rocket jump at somebody. I'll explain rocket jumping in the video. But um, it's basically where you shoot a rocket to propel yourself at something. So you shoot a rocket to like move yourself. So you only have two rockets left. Two rockets is not going to kill a whole lot. I mean, if you can get apps like direct hits, you can kill anybody but a heavy. But if you mess up a rocket, you're not going to be able to kill a soldier or a demo man. If you mess up both your rockets, you might not even kill like even somebody like a sniper. So it's very... I don't know. I'm not a fan of losing one rocket for it, but hopefully I can show that in the video why that's not necessarily the biggest... It's kind of a big deal to lose a rocket. But, I mean, you do get these bonuses. The 40% movement speed does help if you are not confident in your ability to hit rockets. I prefer the regular rocket launcher. I think once you get used to the regular rocket launcher, it's you do you perform a lot better than with this. Because I think the 40% is kind of helpful for, like, newer players. But, I mean, once you get really used to the soldier, the regular rocket launcher is definitely the way to go out of these three for sure. And um, then we have the cow mangler. Which is a very interesting weapon. Um, it has five shots instead of four. They're basically the same as rockets, except they're lasers, and that makes them really annoying because they're impossible to air blast as a pyro. Because they just you can't tell when you're supposed to air blast the laser when it's coming at you. It's just so it's so aggravating. But we'll get to that in the pyro thing. Um, if you have full ammo, if you have all five shots, I'll actually list the negatives. 10% damage penalty, no random critical hits. I don't even think you can, yeah, cannot be crit boosted. You can't even get crits if somebody pops a crit screen on you. So there's no crits other than your alt fire, which I'll explain in a second. You reload 5% slower, and it deals only 20% damage to buildings. So it's not very good for killing buildings. Um, but one thing it can do is if you have five shots in it, you can do the alt fire. That's a charged shot that mini crits players, so it does mini crit rocket damage. It also lights them on fire, which is useful. So a mini crit shot from this is pretty good, but then it, you remember you have to use, use all your ammo and you reload slower. So after you use that, you're pretty vulnerable because you reload more, you reload slowly. And five percent doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're fighting another soldier and you're both like out of ammo, that's kind of a big deal because he's gonna be able to shoot slightly before you, and that means you'll probably die. Um, and you can disable buildings for four seconds. Now, that can be really good if you're coordinating with your team to back to back it up. Like if you're if you're like have a heavy next to you and there's a level three sentry gun and you're like okay i'm gonna shoot the sentry gun with my alt fire and the heavy's gonna go around the corner and because the sentry gun is disabled he's not gonna take damage from it and he'll just freaking mow it down i mean that's a good situation for you to have it but what i think is even better for killing buildings is the direct hit which is what i'll talk about because the direct hit only negative is you lose 70 percent explosion explosion radius which is actually a huge deal and what i don't like to use it but um you're you get plus 25 percent damage you get plus 80% projectile speed, and you mini crit targets that are launched by explosions. So, um, the mini crit targets launched by explosions is pretty good, but it's not it's not something a lot of newer players are going to be able to take advantage to, of because it's hard it's pretty hard to hit people in midair. So if you're pretty new to the game, I would I would shy away from the direct hit for a while. It's more for more experienced soldier players because of that. You can't you're, there's like no explosion radius. You basically have to hit people dead on. Um, but 
the beautiful thing about this rocket is, well, first of all, if you're close to people, you can one-shot snipers and scouts and stuff, because it does over 125 damage in one shot at close range. So it does a lot of damage. So if you if you can hit people, it can be very good. Um, but probably my favorite thing about it is that you can two-shot a level 3 sentry gun with this. It only takes two rockets. And the beautiful thing about this is the rockets move so fast that oftentimes you can shoot one rocket and you'll have another rocket already off before the first one hits. So you can snipe sentry guns with this. It's it's probably the most reliable way to, to kill sentries from long distance, I feel. So it's like, if the NG is not paying attention for even like a half a second, his sentry gun's going to get blown up. It's very annoying to play against soldiers with a direct hit when you're an engineer because you basically have to use the Wrangler to like counteract that. And so it forces them really to use the Wrangler, which means if you can keep doing that, you can distract them so that maybe your sniper can kill the engineer or a spy can kill him or something. So it's, I would say direct hit is really good when you have to fight buildings, especially from long distances. Um, we have the original that's the same as the rocket launcher, except normally the rocket launcher comes kind of on the right side of your screen. The original's in the center. It's called the original because it's based off the Quake rocket launcher, which was in the middle of the screen because all weapons in Quake, Quake are. But, um... So yeah, it's basically the rocket launcher. There's a little caveat I'll explain in the video, but um, not a big deal. Then we have the rocket jumper. Does no damage. You take 100% damage from fires, explosive, and bullets. You do not take dam. Nothing takes damage from this, and you get an extra 200% ammo. This is basically only for rocket jumping. Um, usually only for practice, because that you basically only have 100 health when you're using this, because all that damage. So it's I would say not use that seriously ever. So, Soldier has so many weapons, this is going to be a while. <laughs> so the shotgun, six shots in it, I believe that's 36 extra ammo. Amazing, shotguns are amazing. They're just so reliable, and they do a lot of damage. They're great. So shotgun is a wonderful fallback we weapon to use when you're like out of rocket ammo or something. I guess I'll go to the other we like actual weapons. You have the reserve shooter, which is a shotgun, but you only have three shots in a clip. You can switch weapons 15% faster with it, and you mini crit airborne targets for 3 seconds after being deployed. So a lot of times what people use is you'll hit somebody with a rocket, and it'll pop them up in the air. And then they'll whip out the reserve shooter with that faster weapon switch, and they'll shoot them in midair. So it can be good for that combo. I personally don't like it because... It's like... Okay, if you hit somebody with a rocket, and then you want to take your shotgun to finish them off... um. You can probably kill them with a regular shotgun blast. Because a regular shotgun blast, if you hit all the pellets, is going to do like 70 damage or something. And that's... So a rocket plus that is enough to kill really anything, except maybe another soldier. And then it's like... If you're fighting somebody as buff as, like, say, an overhealed soldier, you don't want to whip out your shotgun. You just want to rocket him. So I don't really see this weapon being that useful, you know. It's really not that useful, I feel, but whatever. Then we have the Righteous Bison, which is another laser weapon. Does not require ammo. Oh, that's right, the Cow Mangler doesn't need ammo. It has unlimited ammo. Um, the projectiles penetrate enemies, and the projectiles cannot be deflected. And it deals only 20% damage to buildings. So it shoots kind of like a little like lasery thing that's kind of slow moving, but you can hit people with it, and it does a fair bit of damage. I guess I have to show it off for you to really understand kind of what it's like. It's kind of a, it's a kind of a weird, unique weapon. Really, the only other thing that's like it is like the Pompson for the engineer. Um, then we'll go into the, uh, the, um, these things, like the flags, I guess they'll call them. So you have the buff banner. This charges, it replaces your shotgun, of course. It charges when you do damage, and once your rage bar is full, you can use it, and it'll give everybody in an area around you mini crits, um, for a certain amount of time. So it's pretty good, especially if you can coordinate with your team. Um, the way the battalions back up the charges when you take damage, when you use it, um, blocks 35% of incoming damage, and there you cannot be crit or anybody around you. It, it's another area of effect thing. Um, then we have the con conjurer. This is kind of the same thing. <laughs> It's like the buff banner charges with damage, and when you use it, instead of doing more damage, you your teammates around you heal damage what they do. But I think it's kind of crappy, because it's really not... You don't really get that much health. Like, I mean, you'll hit somebody with a rocket, and you'll get, like, 12 health. It's like, woo, how great. But, I don't know, I'm probably not going to use it in the video, because it's quite shitty. I would say, if you're going to use anything, probably the buff banner or the backup. I personally think the backup is probably better if you're coordinating well with your team, but... We have the gunboats. 
uh, minus 60% blast damage from rocket jumps. Basically, this allows you to use like the regular rocket launcher or something, and it allows you to rocket jump a whole lot to like just jump around, get to places really fast, get to weird locations, and try and ambush people with your rockets. Now what this does, it makes you very much kind of a hit and run kind of soldier, because you don't have a shotgun, you don't have a secondary weapon. So once you're out of your rockets, you can't really do any damage other than melee. So it's kind of like, you want to, you, you can also use it to jump away from enemies to like do an escape. Um, then we have the man treads that you take 75% reduction in push force taken from damage, because if you get hit, you'll get pushed back. This reduces that a lot. And if you fall on somebody's head, and, you're, and you would take fall damage, it instead deals three times that falling damage to the player you landed on. These are kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. They are not very good. They're not for serious play. But they can be really hilarious to use. I posted a video about it, and it's it's pretty fun when you get a kill with these. But they are definitely not to be taken seriously, that's for sure. Um, melee weapons, soldier has quite a few. You have the regular shovel, which is a standard melee weapon. Contrast objective is the same thing. Pain strain, we already talked about the demo man, it's the same for the soldier. You take 10% extra bullet damage and you can capture twice as fast. Um, pain train, once again, if they don't have any bullet damage and you don't want to use any of the other melees, really, it's like, why not use it? Because you can capture faster, but... That 10% bullet, bullet damage is kind of annoying. You have the frying pan, which is another skin of the shovel. Then you have these other three. Half the Toichi is the same as the Demo Man. Except it's much it's much more useless on the soldier. Because the soldier, once you take it out, you can't take anything else out until you kill somebody. So once you take it out as the soldier, you're kind of fucked if you can't get a kill immediately. Because the soldier is so slow. He cannot he cannot traverse the distance to enemies. He has to basically take somebody by surprise. Because like if the Demo Man is using the half the Toichi and a shield, he can use the shield to get in close with the half the Toichi. The soldier can't do anything like that, so I would say probably shy away from this, except maybe on, like, the group keep, where there's only melee weapons. But other than that, I would say not. Market Gardener is, like, the, it's another weird weapon. <laughs> it's kind of another gimmicky weapon, but it's really fun to use. Um, you, you deal crits. If you get knocked, it has no random critical hits, but if you get knocked into the air by any explosion, and if you hit somebody with this weapon while you're still in midair, it will do a crit. So one thing you can do is you can just rocket jump with your own rocket, so you're hit by explosive damage. You'll find the air, and you can smack somebody with this as you're about to land. So, I mean, I'll probably use this a little bit, because I honestly love to use the rocket launcher gunboats and market gardener, because this lets you rocket jump everywhere, and you can just try and kill people with it, and it's hilarious, I think. But, um, definitely I would say not for serious play. Again, I have seen some people use it in serious play, and they've done quite well, but that's because they're really good, and they can get away with it. Um, they can get away with it because they're good with their rockets. So, And then we have the Equalizer, which is the best. I don't care what you say. It is the best melee weapon for the soldier. Hands down. There's nothing better. Um, when you have it out, if you're the more you're hurt with this, the more damage it does and you can move faster. So if you're like at really low health, this thing can hit like for 100 damage. It hurts a lot. And then... Um, you can also, if you're hurt as well, you can use it as an escape tool, because you can just run really fast. You run really fast if you're hurt. Um, when you're at full health, it's actually worse than the shovel, I believe. I don't think it, it doesn't do very much damage or anything, so... But then again, if you're at full health, you should probably... You probably also have your weapons reloaded, so you should probably be shooting rockets, because those will do more damage than this anyways, unless you get a crit. The only bad thing about this is it does block healing for medics when you're using it, so you can't have a medic healing you while you have this out. So, um, that's his only downside. So, but yeah, it's really good, and I hope I can show it off a little bit in the video. It's really good for an escape tool and stuff, but... Anyways, that's basically all there is for the soldier. He has, I think, the second most weapons. The only person that has more is a demo man, I believe. But I actually have a lot of soldier hats. <laughs> I have a lot of hats for soldier. Um, I, I also gave one away, because for my giveaway, I gave away the killer Kabo Killer's Kabuto. And I still have a bunch of hats. I like to use the stainless pot, just because it looks ridiculous and it's vintage, so I feel special. Even though it's just vintage, that's not a big deal. But yeah, um, I'm just going to say this is my favorite loadout. Regular rocket launcher, regular shotgun equalizer. That's what most of the pros use, and I think for good reason. It just is, it feels really good, and it covers a lot of the soldier's weaknesses, and it's just all around good. But um, hopefully I will start out the video with this set, so hopefully you guys will watch that, and I guess I'll see you in game. So yeah, see you guys in a bit.